Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chongqing Travel Guide. On this show, we will take you around the exciting and beautiful city of Chongqing, showing you the most interesting attractions, the most delicious food, and the most photogenic scenic spots. My name is Mikkel and I will be your guide for today's episode where we're going to list out some of Chongqing's most famous foods. If you live in or have visited Chongqing, you may be familiar with some of these already, but we hope to add a few new entries to your list. Before we get into the list of some of our top foods in Chongqing, let us know in the comments down below what kind of food you enjoy the most and what is your favorite food in Chongqing or anywhere else. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos about Chongqing. And now, without any further ado, let's go to our list of some of Chongqing's most famous foods. Kicking off our list at number 10, we start with Chongqing Street Snacks, and this entry will contain a couple of items all grouped together sharing the number 10 spot. The first one is Tsiba, a kind of traditional sticky rice cake. The glutinous rice is ground with a pestle and mortar and then made into small balls. They are then served with a brown sugar and other seasoning. You can find these especially in Sichiko and Hongya Cave. One of the other favorite snacks in summer is something called Liang Gao, a kind of rice pudding served with brown sugar on top. A perfect chill little fast dessert you can enjoy on the go, especially suitable for Chongqing's warm summer days. Ma Hua is made from two or three strands of dough twisted together and fried in peanut oil. The surface is shiny, brown and golden and the Ma Hua is crunchy to eat. Flavors vary from sweet to spicy, and Sichiko has a famous shop with long lines to buy these particular snacks. Pan fried potatoes is another very famous street snack in Chongqing. Fried with oil, chili, peppers, sesame, and mustard and scallions, these potatoes have become a local favorite crispy snack to be enjoyed at all times of the year. On our number 9 spot, we have Dou Hua Fan, a soft kind of tofu, also sometimes called tofu pudding. In Chongqing, a stone mill is used to grind the soybeans for tofu making. The white slippery Dou Hua is served with a special side of chili oil, soy sauce, citron pepper, scallions, and nuts. On our number 8 spot, we have grilled fish, which is exactly what it sounds like. A whole grilled fish covered in a dry dressing of Sichuan peppercorns, dried chilies, and served in a big pan of soupy goodness, a little bit like hot pot broth. The cook first grills the freshwater fish, usually a grass carp, over charcoal and then tops it with condiments and fillers that you select from a menu. Grilled fish can be prepared with different flavors, such as spicy, with garlic, or with pickled peppers. It may not be the first thing on your mind when you think of Chongqing, but beer is a perfect companion for just about any meal you can have here and number 7 on our list. Aside from the local beer brands, you can also find a selection of microbreweries that make their own beer and there is a wide selection available across the city. At number 6 we have tea. Now there are numerous tea houses in Chongqing, many located inside or near some of the major shopping malls and others are located closer to some of the cultural attractions in Chongqing like Honya Cave and Sijiko. But another location in Chongqing has become very famous in recent years, an old cantina attached to the local public transportation bureau that has turned into a hip tea house suitably named Jiao Chong Tea House. Jiao Chong is the Chinese word for transportation or transit. From Xi Ya, a famous local green tea, to jasmine, there are numerous kinds of teas in Chongqing. Many different flavors and different kinds of properties make the teas unique in their own way. Tea houses are a great way to experience not only the flavor of the tea, but also the culture behind this ancient Chinese tradition. Halfway through your list, we arrive at number 5, Barbecue. While not always easy to find during the daytime, street barbecue vendors will appear in many places around the city, especially towards the evening. Street barbecue can be purchased from a street vendor or enjoyed in certain shops. Grilled tender meat, either beef or pork, or mutton are readily available along with many kinds of vegetables. Sprinkled with a healthy dose of Xiao Kao seasoning and chili powder, these grilled dishes are sore to make your mouth water. Barbecue in Chongqing is essentially a late night snack after a long day of work, or if you're out with friends, and you can surely enjoy it with a cold beer. 
Moving on to number 4, we have sweet potato noodles or swam la fun. You can find this little dish in almost any shop in Chongqing, recognized by its numbing and tickling flavor. The noodles used for this dish are made from potatoes, making them more chewy than wheat or rice noodles. The noodle soup is topped with fried minced pork, soy sauce and pickled mustard head for some added crispiness. At number 3 we have Xiaomian, also widely known as Chongqing noodles or small noodles. It is a signature food of Chongqing and popular all around China. A bowl of plain noodles seasoned with vinegar, sugar, red oil, ginger and scallion, sometimes topped with braised beef, braised beans or fried meat sauce. Characterized by its spicy flavors, this dish is a staple in Chongqing and can be found almost anywhere you go. At second place in our list, it is Chongqing Homestyle Cooking, a list of dishes that are traditional to Chongqing and also foreign friendly, in other words, not too spicy. These dishes are traditionally eaten with rice and most local restaurants will offer them. First up is Kung Pao Chicken, diced chicken with peanuts, spring onions, dried chilies and oyster sauce, twice cooked pork which is pork slices, green pepper, red onions, black beans, and dried chilies. Fish flavored pork, stripped pork, spring onions, and garlic. This dish is called fish flavored, but it doesn't actually contain any fish. Mapu tofu, diced tofu served with minced pork and Sichuan peppers, a very famous dish in Chongqing and especially in Sichuan. Sour vegetables and fish soup, which is river fish served with chili pepper and pickled vegetables. Finally, at our number one spot, we have the famous Chongqing hot pot. Hot pot is like Chongqing itself, strong, spicy and in your face with a down-to-earth history. It is a dish of the locals for sure. Hot pot consists of a large cauldron of broth made from beef tallow, red chili soup. You then order a variety of dipping ingredients such as beef, pork, shrimp and vegetables to dip in the broth and eat. Your food is slow cooked, absorbing the flavors from the broth as well and is usually enjoyed in large groups of as many as 10 to 12 people at a time. Traditionally a very spicy dish, but you can find less spicy varieties as even some Chinese people are not accustomed just to how spicy Chongqing hot pot can be. And that concludes our list of the 10 must try foods and drinks in Chongqing. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel. There are many more videos to come and much more of Chongqing to explore. And let us know down in the comments below what is your favorite food on our list and if we left anything out that you thought should be added. Also, what is your favorite food in Chongqing or anywhere else for that matter? We will see you again soon and until then, take care.